What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today we're here with my Rivian R1T and I wanna talk about a phone call I received this morning from Rivian Service. So this morning at about 7.30 in the morning, which is pretty early, but I think they thought I was in Eastern time because my address on my account is in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, I received a call from Rivian Service uh, asking me one about the service request I had made for replacement badges. I had never followed up with it because I wasn't going with those badges anymore. I had the PPF shop reinstall uh, them. So I didn't need the $450 badges that they were trying to sell me, uh, which is just crazy. That's a whole different topic. But as part of that phone call, they also asked me when I was available for Rivian to be able to send a service technician to my home or wherever I wanted them to come uh, they were thinking that they would have to send someone from Atlanta all the way up to Charlotte, North Carolina, being that that's the nearest service center right now for me. Uh, that's actually where I did my first mile drive, if you check out my previous video about that. Uh, but unbeknownst to them, I'm actually in Colorado right now, so I'm, I'm much closer to a service center. And what they wanted to do on my truck is actually do an, what they called an underbody inspection. Not entirely sure what that entails. Uh, they did send me an estimate to approve of $0 and it really didn't list a whole lot. It was just saying uh, inspect front suspension. It doesn't tell me a whole lot. So I'm very curious to see what they end up doing. They're coming out this afternoon between 12 and four. And I think they're basically just going to crawl under the car, make sure all the bolts are there, maybe retorque some things. But we'll find out. I have been seeing some reports of people saying that they're missing some bolts for some of the underbody panels. Uh, and I have seen actually two cases of the front wheel, either control arm or ball joint or something, not entirely sure, coming off and the wheel kind of collapsing either inward or outward. Slightly concerning, but really that can happen on any vehicle, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but it's good to be, or it's good to see Rivian proactively taking the steps to address potential concerns before they become uh, a bigger problem, a recall, whatever the case may be. What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. I've been getting a lot of questions about the phone mount that I have in my Rivian R1T. I covered it in a couple of my videos, it's shown in my road trip video, and it was actually just in the latest out of spec reviews video, doing the full tour of this ocean coast interior. I'll link that video down below as well. But let me show you this phone mount and I'll include links down below as well so that you can purchase it if you're interested for your R1T or your R1S. All right, so the Rivian mobile service technician just left. Uh, basically what he did is he jacked up each front wheel uh, separately, of course, with jack stands, everything did it by the book. Um, took off the wheel, check the torque on the upper control arms. So uh, if you've been browsing Reddit or some of the uh, Facebook groups, things like that, you've probably seen the one or two vehicles that did have the wheel come off. Uh, it seems like it's a very small amount of vehicles that are affected. They had a very specific VIN list of vehicles that they were checking and it was pretty short. Uh, I didn't see a whole lot, but I was able to see that it was not a long list, which is good, not in the thousands or anything like that. Um, but yeah, they pulled off the wheels. Uh, and then they retorque re the upper control arm bolts. So really not a whole lot to this. It's slightly concerning. Um, mine were very slightly loose, it seemed, based on what I could see from the technician's uh, movement of the torque wrench. Not great. The vehicle was still driving fine, but um, I wouldn't be necessarily surprised if this becomes a service action or potentially even a recall. It's really hard to say. Um, but I guess we'll see what comes of this with Rivian and if there's anything more to it or if they need to change it to maybe a cotter pin or a, um, uh, I'm blanking on the term, but where you hammer in the groove of the nut so that way it can't back off. That would probably be a good idea on a ball joint nut. Uh, not really sure why they're not using that. Hopefully they're at least using nylock nuts. But i um, curious if anyone else has had Rivian reach out to them about this underbody inspection. Uh, and I haven't gotten an invoice or anything listing all the details, but if I do, I will certainly share some of that on Twitter. So, uh, my Twitter's linked down below. So if you aren't already, definitely hit the follow button on my Twitter. I post a lot more day-to-day -day type content on there than I necessarily do on YouTube. Yeah, just curious how this is going. And really, if this is Rivian's only problem, 
being such a new car company, new vehicles, everything like that, I think they're doing pretty darn well because this was a very simple fix. An extremely painless process for me as a customer. Um, they called me, they sent someone out within a few hours and Kyle's truck wasn't actually affected. His was here, uh, technician was great, super nice guy. Any thoughts on this whole ordeal or lack of ordeal really? Well, I, I love the truck with the pullout drawers, first of all, the yeah. Rivian service truck. We had three trucks here. Everyone was so you know enthused with it. And it's just been amazing so far. <laughs> hey. And speaking of people being enthused with the vehicle, there was a RAV4 Prime driver that came up and stopped and talked to us because when you have a Rivian, uh, you really can't be in a hurry to get anywhere it seems because anywhere you go you will have people trying to talk to you because the trucks are just awesome um but yeah overall rivian service experience really good really happy with that um curious to see how things go in the future if anything else is needed uh i have an 11,400 vin vehicle kyle's is in the fours um but overall they just seem really solid aside from the i mean known tonneau cover issue but that is has been communicated that's being redone early next year it sounds like in 2023 and happy with it so well a few hours after getting the service done i actually ended up receiving the uh, service recap is what they call it at rivian and it was actually pretty disappointing the lack of detail on what they actually did or why they needed to do it uh it basically just says concern perform inspection see technician notes so clearly there was more information for the technician or they wouldn't have been able to know what to do cause engineer request inspection for upper control arms okay i would like a lot more detail than that um why it needed that what they found whether they were loose whether they were tight um uh, why my vehicle was subject to this inspection would be really helpful uh, and then correction remedy was front suspension, other labor, one hour. So um, as a former dealership service advisor, I personally have read through probably thousands of service tickets and the notes from technicians on them. And I would hand this right back to a technician and tell them to redo it because those notes are absolutely terrible. Uh, I don't think that's due to the technician. I think uh, Rivian just needs to hold their overall service communication to a little bit higher standard there um, because as the owner of a truck especially about a week and a half after delivery and getting a call that my truck needs to be inspected it's a little bit concerning and i'd like a lot more information as to why so uh definitely curious if anyone else has had this happen uh, and what they got from the technician or from rivian service uh, and if they heard anything else as to why that's happening so definitely comment down below if you have uh Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.